Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. My name is Becky and today I wanted to show you my minimalist wardrobe. One of my subscribers recently asked me if I was still a minimalist and especially within my wardrobe because that is where they found me uh, through my old channel was because of my previous minimalist and extreme minimalist wardrobe videos. And I kind of replied and said it was a really good time that you asked that because I've been thinking about showing my minimalist life again in my new channel. So here we are. This is my minimalist wardrobe. I have currently figured out that I have 15 items of clothing. Right now I am currently wearing a black tank top or singlet as we call them in Australia and I'm wearing one pair of underwear. I will show you my socks because I've kind of been collecting socks at the moment but I'm not going to show you my underwear and bras. So I do have in total six pairs of underwear and two wireless bras. So I don't like wires. I haven't worn them like wired bras in a long time. They're really uncomfortable. I don't like them. So yeah. Okay. So this is everything that I own in my wardrobe. They usually are up in my closet, which I'll show you what they look like when I hang everything back up. But I thought that I would show you. Now, this is for all season. At the moment, I am definitely a very simple dresser. I wear a lot of black. It's, I've always worn a lot of black, but I'm thinking about bringing a little bit more color into my wardrobe. So we'll see how we go. We're coming at the end of summer this week and you know next week the 20th of February um which is actually my birthday my birthday's in two days and um it's you know we're at the end of summer now so it'll be interesting to see what I start doing and what I change over the next two seasons but as a whole this is usually all seasons so let's have a look inside look inside let's have a look at what I've got so I have one two three long baggy black t-shirts now they're kind of a very loose fit these are my go-to shirts I get them from Big W um, and as you can see I generally cut the tag off and the reason that I do that I've got this one here the reason that I do that usually is because I am a bigger larger like I'm a larger person I am a size 20 on average um, in Australia, Australian sizes, these 20s are actually a bit baggy on me, so I even reckon I could go down to an 18. But dress sizes, especially, you know, for women and uh, people with uh, curvier bodies, um, they're all over the place. And so I find that every time I have a tag on that has what size it is, it would make me feel really down and, you know, make me focus on this number on my clothing. So I started cutting them off. This is a relatively kind of newer edition and I haven't had a chance to cut that off yet. But so I just started cutting off the labels of my uh, t-shirts just so that I'm not reminded that this is a size 20 because it used to bum me out a little bit. So I've got three black t-shirts here of the same kind. I have a normal, like this was in the men's section it's a black t-shirt and this is just like a like a woman's sport black t-shirt um I have my flash shirt down there I have oh I forgot to fold this up I've got one pair of cotton leggings which I wear all year round totally forgot to fold them up I have one black uh, skirt that I've had for mul oh, so many years I'd probably say about 10 years now I've had this thing this is a brown linen skirt that I actually hand sewed myself and I did this just before Christmas time you can see that it's all been hand sewn so yeah it's meant to be like historically inspired so it ties up at the side it's this really beautiful linen fabric and yeah, you can sort of see that it's hand stitched. I'll show you the inside. You can see that I've just done a, a pretty basic stitches, but I really love it. And uh, we actually travel down to South Australia in a month's time. And I am thinking about bringing it with me. So I have two skirts, like two longer skirts. I have one long black dress, which I got from an op shop or a thrift store whatever you want to call them, um, wherever you are. And I've had this for 
about a year now from the op shop. I just started to break and stuff here so I might have to redo this. I am on the lookout for a new black dress to replace this because it is starting to get a little bit old but I haven't found anything just yet. I also have a brown corduroy skirt. I haven't worn it this summer because it's hot. We live in Queensland, Australia so yeah corduroy skirt. It's very thick as well so that's more of an autumn winter kind of skirt but I have worn it maybe once or twice during the winter uh, sorry the summer I have one pair of sporty leggings and these are actually winter so it's sort of warm and fuzzy on the inside so I actually haven't worn them since winter obviously because it's too hot and then I also have my Nike hoodie which I've had for ages and I also have uh, this is brand new. This is a new, it's actually cotton, a cardigan, which I also got from Big W here in Australia. So that's it. That is my wardrobe. As I said, I'm wearing a black tank top here or singlet as we call them. Um, but that is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this stuff up. I will quickly show you some of my socks and then we'll have a look at the wardrobe. So this is my current sock collection at the moment. I do want to point out though that I forgot to show you that I have another black uh, baggy shirt that I wear as kind of pyjamas strictly around the house. And that's the same thing with the tank top that I'm currently wearing. So I don't wear this tank top uh, out and about. It's strictly just for home. Sometimes if I'm going down to the beach or something like that, I'll use it as like a swim singlet tank top type thing. So um, I did want to add that. There was an extra shirt, but that's basically just like stay at home, um, go to bed in pajamas type kind of shirt sort of thing. So this is currently my sock collection. As you can see, I have quite a few Pokemon ones. Uh, these two, I realized that the their pairs are still in the wash for some reason. They got washed separately. But these came in a set of three. I got these uh, around Christmas time. And I got these Bulbasaur ones at Christmas time, as you can see, like it's Christmas. Now, I have to let you know that I work with children. I work with school age children before and after school care and during vacation care. That's my new job. I've been with them for about three months now. And so, especially around Christmas time, it's really fun to just wear, you know, a couple of fun festive things or even like my Pokemon socks. Um, it's a really good excuse to have cute and fun socks because it's a way of me showing some of the things that I like and I know that they like them as well so you kind of you know it's like a conversation starter about like Pokemon and things like that so yeah I got these three and this pair when I started my new job so they're relatively new these are actually new just the other week nope not today these are my old ones these are old Bonds ones I've had for a good couple of years now. I've had these Pikachu socks for a couple of years now. I've got these dinosaur ones. They're also really cute. I got them at the beginning of this year. The little uh, Christmas Corgi ones, they look they look a little bit like stained and stuff like that, but I only got these at Christmas time. Uh, my friend bought these for me and they're really cute. And I've had these Element ones. These are one of my favorites. I've had them for about four months now. As you know, socks, it, it sort of sucks with socks because, you know, when you're wearing them all the time, they do, you know, start to peel and look a bit worn out. But, you know, I, I yeah, they're still really cool to have. So that's my sock collection at the moment. And I don't really plan on buying any new ones. If I do buy new ones, it'll probably be to maybe replace these ones or maybe my elements, but my element ones are, are still really good condition. These have actually been really great. I love these. They're just really, really good quality. So, um, yeah, that's the socks. And this is my wardrobe with all my clothes hanging up. So as you can see, this is my everyday leggings, my one, two, three, four, five, six black t-shirts, oh well six, you know, five black t-shirts and one grey one um, and then my 
long black dress, my black skirt, my linen skirt, and my hoodie and my new cardigan. Up the top here I have my corduroy skirt and my winter leggings because I don't need them at least at least for another month. Now in this wardrobe which I'm not going to show you I do have two uniforms for work and I have three pairs of black shorts. Now I didn't include the black shorts because I only wear them for work and you know I mean technically they're just plain black t-shirts I could wear them out and about if I want to but I don't really want to because they are dedicated simply for work just because then I know that they're clean I don't have to wash them and they stay in good condition because I'm a casual worker so I have a couple of shifts a week kind of thing so they should last me for quite some time that's it now what I'm going to be doing in on the 28th on the 28th of March we are actually traveling down to Brisbane to stay overnight in Brisbane and then on the 29th we fly down to South Australia and I will obviously as a minimalist be packing pretty lightly so if you are interested in seeing that please stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you like this video and uh, I will see you in my next video bye so before I go I just wanted to show you that I currently have three pairs of shoes so I have these. I've had these now for a couple of years now. You can see they're sort of looking a little older. Probably had them for about two and a half years. I used to have these as my everyday shoe and now I mainly just wear them for work because, you know, they're getting a little bit older. If I spill paint on them or something like that, like it's not a big deal. Um, I've got my Havianas over here and they need a bit of a clean and I also have my Converse. Now I've had these, I would probably say, yeah, about four months. I got these the same day that I got the uh, Element socks. So um, these are now my everyday shoe that I wear if I go out and I'll wear these like, you know, out as well, like popping down to the shops or something like that. But Mainly I just have the two that I wear on a regular basis and these I leave for work. And that's it.